Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, ticker symbol HCMC. And so today we're going to be talking about earnings as earnings is out. I'm very excited to talk about it because that is something that we have been obviously waiting for and looking at. As always, guys, show support for HNC by smashing that like button down below. Again, none of this is financial advice. Do take a while to take salt. Make sure you do your own due diligence and research. Without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So HMC released their third quarter 2021 financial results, as you can see on the screen here. And so here is basically a summary that they delivered an increase in gross profit, resulting in a 19% reduction in operating loss year over year. So for those of you who keep up to date on my videos, you know one of the things I've been talking about HCMC in terms of their financials, in terms of their earnings, is that what it seems like they're doing right now is to improve on reducing their operating losses rather than increasing their revenue. Because we looked at their past revenue for the last three to four or five quarters, and essentially their revenue is around the same kind of three million mark, give or take a hundred thousand in there every quarter, but their operating loss has been decreasing um, quarter after quarter. Essentially, Q2, they had the operating profit of 180,000. And so we know that right now, what they're focusing on in terms of their financials is obviously their operating loss. And guys, make sure you watch until the end of this video because I'm going to be dropping the bang in terms of a huge catalyst that is a potential for HCMC. And so again, you know, we're talking about what they're doing as their revenue. And so here they announced their financial results for the three month period ended September 30th, 2021 and year to date nine month period ended September 30th, 2021. So let's look at it. Firstly, the highlights. The gross profit from operation increased by approximately 14,000 for the three months period ended September 30th, 2021, amounted to 1.38 million compared to 1.36 million for the same period last year. So we are seeing an improvement in terms of Q3. For the nine months period ended September 30th, 2021, gross profit amounted to 4.33 million versus 4.44 million for the same period last year, a decrease of 113,000. So there are, you know, things that um, obviously haven't improved, as you can guys see here, a decrease of 113,000. Something I do obviously want to talk about here is that, do you understand that this year HMC has gone more into kind of retail stores, whereas last year because of COVID, a lot of things was online. So you did see an increase in sales. You know, we have talked about this before. Um, I, I, because it doesn't come in really come into play anymore. It doesn't, it's not really relevant anymore. I won't be going into depth into it, but you guys do understand that there was obviously factors where we have to consider with COVID last year. And now net loss from continuing operations for the three month period ended September 30th, 2021, improved approximately 251,000 or 19% from the period last year. So, you know, as you guys can already see, we are seeing improvements in areas. And before we go further on, I do want to talk about how this is obviously important because, you know, a lot of people are here for the lawsuit, but a lot of people also want to stay for the long term. Now, the only reason if you guys want to stay in the long term is if HCMC is obviously producing results. And here they are obviously showing the fact that they are producing results. Now, amounting to approximately a net loss of 1.05 million compared to 1.3 million, respectively, for the nine month period ended September 30th, 2021, net loss from continued operations improved approximately 1.24 million or 44% from the same period last year, amounting to 1.57 million versus 2.81 million, respectively. Guys, you can find all of this on the Healthier Choices Management website. Again, I'm just covering this to give my own kind of opinions and perspective on this. So again, they are doing extremely well. You know, this is something we do obviously want to see for HMC because for this, again, like I said, guys, for the for the ones who are investing in long term, you obviously do want them to improve in their financials. And now, Jeffrey Holman, the chairman and chief executive officer of HMC, said. We had a solid third quarter and are very pleased with our margin performance and execution across the business. This is a significant achievement for HMC in a challenging supply chain environment, which is 100% true. You know, considering for those of you who isn't keeping up to date right now, the supply chain management is a mess. It is very difficult. You know, we are having a lot of difficulties. A lot of news are obviously covering stuff in terms of the supply chain and under these circumstances, they are still doing very well. Obviously, this is very good then for HMC. Now, again, to be brutally strict and to, you know, obviously we want to be as strict as we can when we evaluate these companies. Obviously they can do better. Now they have already improved. That's obviously good, but going to the future, we obviously want even better improvements if HMC wants us to stay for the longer term. I'll be talking about later on what we kind of want to see. And then the CEO also included that 
We'll continue to explore strategic growth opportunities, which we have talked about that it could be potential and possibly acquisitions that what they want to do for their long term plans and are looking forward to launching some of our long term growth plans, all the while remaining disciplined in cost management. This is very important because the fact that we'll be getting onto this in a second, but everyone knows about the cash on hand 28 to 29 million that HMC obviously have. And it's very important that they are disciplined in cost management because if they're not and they end up wasting that 28 million, then it would be a huge trouble um, for HMC. And also that will make us kind of want to leave HMC if they are not using their money well. Patience has certainly been a necessary virtue in attempting to avoid any missteps in the ever-changing and tumultuous business environment. To our loyal shareholders, I would like to say thank you for blah, 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 blah. So obviously, thank you to the shareholders, you know, stuff like that. Again, I don't want to bore you guys too much. Now, going down here and looking at their unaudited, kind of just their files, and we are seeing here the total net sales of 3.269 million for 2021 and 3.347 million for 2020. So obviously a decrease, but what I want everyone to kind of pay attention to is their stuff. So firstly, despite the fact we saw a, you know, a decrease in total sales, um, we also saw a decrease in total cost of sales and hence why we saw an increase in the gross profit. It's not much, but it's improvement. Again, we know what HMC kind of, um, in terms of the financial strategy right now, is to rather decrease their cost. Where I talked about right now, obviously what they want to do is improve their kind of whole operation cost, but in the future, when they have all of this kind of um, settled out and kind of fixed, they will be, they should be um, focusing on their revenue because that is going to be what's important. Again, we talked about what the long-term plan should be. Again, the same for um, and the nine months ended as well. And we're looking down here, losses from operation, obviously a massive decrease, close to 200,000, um, you know, even here close to 400,000. So a big change all around and the net loss from continued operations. Again, we are seeing decrease, which really just shows a lot. You know, it shows that HMC is doing very well in doing what they want to do because they have made it very clear in terms of their financial sheets that I know, I know, I know I keep on repeating this, but it's important is that they are trying to improve the net loss from continuing operations in kind of just their operational costs. And they are doing a very good job on this. And so whilst you may not be seeing their profit going up, you know, sky high, their revenue not going up sky high, do you understand they are doing well in terms of their financial strategies. It's just that right now, you know, they are doing this, but in the future, we definitely want to see a change and that should be in terms of improving their revenue. So if they can keep the same amount of kind of operation costs now, but improve their revenue in the upcoming future, where they're doing 6 million revenue, where they're doing, you know, 9 million total sales, 10 million total sales, but then kind of keep the same, um, in terms of operational cost um, margin, in terms of the percentage, then that will obviously be very good for HMC and that's what we want to see in the future. And again, just adjusted EBITDA, you guys can see an improvement in that as well. Overall, this Q3 um, revenue, this earnings is actually very good. And again, kind of sort of it confirms my conviction in HMC in terms of the fact that they are a company that is obviously operating well and looking like a company that is going to be having a very good future in terms of what they're doing. We just need to see more kind of changes in how they operate going into the future. And now finally, let's talk about their balance sheets. And so September 30th, so cash and cash equivalents, we're looking at 28 million of the current assets. We're looking at 2 million. So nothing changed. They haven't spent their 28 million. And this is very important because again, guys, you know, if we go back to what they were talking about here, the CEO obviously talked about how they're continuing to explore strategic growth opportunities. Now, this is something that they should definitely be saving their money for. But also going back into here, discipline and cost management, meaning that why, given a reason why they haven't kind of splashed out their 28 million, all of this is very important. Something we also do have to understand is that they want to do, they do want to keep most of their money because of this whole lawsuit, as that again is the ultimate catalyst for HMC. But you know. If they were to find good strategic growth opportunities in pretty much good strategic um, acquisitions, they should definitely try and get into it as that is very important for HMC. That's something we do want to be seeing. So again, nothing really much changed for um, the cash sheet. If we did see a change in the cash sheet where we saw kind of a big change in money, if maybe they only had 25, 24 million, then we should definitely be wondering where did that money go. But as of right now, you know, not that much in change in money. Pretty much everything else is still the same in comparison to the last quarter, so not too much changes. But again, HMC is on track to do very well, especially in their earnings. There are still obviously room, room for improvements, big room for improvements. But in terms of what they're showing, increase, uh, improving their operation cost, they are doing that. But 
you know, going to the future, definitely maybe two, three quarters later on, I do want them to kind of shift that focus in operation cost into increasing their total sales. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about HMT and comment down below what you guys want to see next. On that, enjoy your day.